everyone welcome to Lavellius coloring for this second part of my coloring collection I'll be sharing with you all my Japanese coloring books except for three books um, that I have in a bookcase with other coloring books of the same size so those I will share with you in another video I did grow up in Japan and have always loved Japanese animation especially because we only had one US channel at the naval base, I think it was a channel 7, might be 7 or 11, I can't remember, but um, I grew up watching a lot of Japanese cartoons and I just want to quickly share um, a couple of books that, um, that I had as in my, from my childhood. Um, this is Arare and it's a colored comic and then this one is called Orange Road. I do have like eight more from this um, series and I tried to color in it <laughs> I've had this since I was about nine years old ten years old so um, and I tried to put lipstick on her but um, yeah so for myself I'm just so happy that I am able to get these Japanese coloring books they are in a way nostalgic and I'm just in love with their illustrations a little less than half of the Japanese books were gifts from my mother-in-law and my aunt. They generously gave me Christmas money a couple years ago, so that enabled me to purchase the books I wanted from Amazon Japan. And like I said in the last video, I didn't list um, which books were gifted, and yeah, so I don't. I I might remember one or two, but yeah. Um, so uh, some of the books um, that I, sh I will share with you guys today, you may be able to find them on Amazon.com. But like I suggested in part one of the series, if you want to purchase a Japanese book that is not available at Amazon.com, I would suggest pricing it out between Amazon Japan and the stores that sell these books on Etsy like Cool Craft Books and 70 East Books. I know there are other sites that you can probably purchase these but I've never per uh, I've never um, purchased from those sites and I'm comfortable with uh, the Etsy um, stores and Amazon Japan. I've had no problems so those are the ones I want to share with you guys. Um, uh, if you're wondering how you go about ordering from Amazon Japan, Lee, the coloring queen, does have a video um, on her YouTube channel on how to order from there and I will try to add the link to that video in the descriptions below. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and clear up this table and we'll go ahead and get started. The first book I want to share with you is called Girls Coloring Book. This is, um, there is three in this series and it is illustrated by Yuka Sato. This book is about Mary and Lola's cute life. They are best friends that, that have known each other since childhood and then they went on their separate ways. Um, this book uh, does have uh, colored backgrounds and some of the images are already colored in. They are also separated by um, yeah, they're also separated by seasons. So you have spring and then summer. So here this one says summer. And some of the line art are, is also colored. Like this one is kind of like purplish blue. They also have red and green. Here's a purple one for Halloween. This book comes with um, a dollhouse that you can pull out to color. Well, it's not a real dollhouse, it's a picture of a dollhouse. But yeah, so you can pull this out and color it in. Yeah, so really cute, cute book about two girls, their life. One, I think, in the country, one in the city. So this is Girls Coloring Book by Yuka Sato. Next uh, girls coloring book by Yuka Sato is about kimonos and also two different girls. Um, I know one of them is Sa Saori, uh, but I can't remember what the other girl's name, but um, 
it just uh, gives you different scenes of girls wearing kimonos and um, there are no black line art it's a lot of the reds blues and I think green what beautiful images though and it also shows you little tips of uh, like the design of the uh, and colors of the kimonos I wonder if there was on this side there you go yeah. So a lot of cute images in here and here's one where you can create your own design if you wanted or just color it in yeah it's really cute I don't think this one had anything else it's just a lot of um, images here's like a like the one from the first one where it's like a, a dollhouse yeah, so this is the girls' coloring book by Yukasato, um, all about kimonos. And the last book from Yukasato from her girls' coloring book series. Um, this is about uh, Canon, who is the little girl, and Sylvia, who's the ballerina. Uh, the little girl, um, Canon, she dreams to be a ballerina, so you kind of follow her in her. Um, with her dreams of becoming a ballerina and then you also have scenes of um, the girl who is the ballerina and her like daily life routines and then unlike the other books this is all gray line art yeah it's really sweet so then here I guess you can draw your own um, tutu yeah. they show um, really cute designs of the ballerina dresses yeah. okay. so this is the color girls coloring book of Canon and Sylvia um, and it is illustrated by Yuka Sato the next two books is called My Colorful Town by Chiaki Ida. I do have two. One is the Japanese version and one is the American version. Uh, so the American version is slightly smaller than um, the Japanese one. Um, I forgot, I think I might have pre-ordered this and then I went and purchased this one through Amazon to, um, Japan and I forgot that I pre-ordered it so I ended up getting two but I'm glad I got two because this one and uh, the papers uh, the Japanese one I'm sure it's probably good with watercolor but the American version feels um, slightly thicker and a lot more sturdy so I probably use this one just for like um, watercolors and then this one just for pencils so just a quick look inside they have the same images and just a couple of them are uh, there's a, a small difference between the two besides the size so they do have a lot of um, uh, double spreads in this book but I love how you can see all the different shops the different scenes yeah. different rooms and it ends with the town um, that she strolls through and visits and the difference between the two is that um, in the Japanese coloring book at the end where you also see the town uh, it also comes with little <laughs> postcards and note cards um, to cut out if you wanted to yeah so yeah. that's pretty much the um, only difference um, besides the size and the, the cards in the back so this is the colorful my colorful town a coloring tour by Chiaki Ida the next one by Chiaki Ida is called my dream room um, I did uh, after uh, I pre-ordered the um, my dream town I did wait for my dream room to come out um, 
and amazon.com but it didn't so i went ahead and um, bought this from amazon japan so this one has um illustrations of different rooms you have double spreads and then you have um single ones also so pretty a little canopy on the bed here's one for christmas yeah it says um different kinds of rooms and then in the back it does have a pull out dollhouse so this oops sorry so this is the outside it's back here and this is the inside and yes it is bare but um it does come with the furniture <laughs> which is over here and uh, it's for you to color and cut out and you just kind of like place it um inside the dollhouse which is cute so yeah and then in the back it also shows you the different um houses okay and uh, I forgot to say, um, all the Japanese uh, coloring books uh, come with a jacket. And some of them you can color. Uh, some of them are too glossy though. So, but, um, When I do color in their coloring books, I take out the jackets and keep it aside. And when I'm done coloring in it, I put it back on. So this is my dream room by Chiaki Ida. The next book is called um, SS Illust Coloring Book. Um, it features 14 different illustrators and their examples of their work is in the back. You can see um, their colored works. It's really beautiful. So it's like different styles. Yeah, so um, when you go through the book, they are all one-sided, and you, so you can use markers on it, pencils, watercolors, um, whatever you like using, whichever medium you want using, but as you can see, the um, line art is very fine. So, yeah might be fun for someone that has like Copic markers to just color it in. I can see um, who likes using um, Copic. Erin uh, Kelly, she does really good work. And probably um, Anne from A Color for Life I mean, she, when she used her Copics. And there was another person, is it Faithful Girl? Um, she uses Copics with her colorings also. So, yeah, this one's really pretty. But yeah, the, the line art is very fine. Some of them are okay and you can really see um, what's going on it's cute yeah. yeah so this is the SS Illust coloring book the next several books are by Inko Kotoriyama and um, this book by her um, is called Disney, well it is from Disney, um, called World of Dreams. It is half tutorial and half coloring book. So this is the coloring book part and then the tutorial is still attached. Um, they do uh, show you uh, or give you examples of um, what you can use in this book, like pencils, markers, looks like oil pastel or maybe just soft pastel, gel pens. Another um, thing you can use, and I think these colors come with the Faber Castell Classics. That looks like Faber Castell Classics, but um, and they give you little tips on how to color them, different colors, different ways. So you have sepia, and a little blue tone, and and a little area for you to try. So each page shows you different um, examples. And then on the coloring book part, just take this out. It does give you like an index of all the colorings you'll expect in this book. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of um, 
um, a double spread, two pages, some single ones. A lot of lovely um, images, and then some of the what they showed you in the tutorials, uh, you can implement that into your colorings. There's Frozen. Here's a great picture for Christmas. Yeah, and then in the back you have um, single-sided um, images. Also this uh, little dollhouse, which you can color. Yeah. But this one, uh, the posters um, are single-sided, so you can either use uh, markers in here. Just remember when you use markers to put um, either a lot of paper, cardstock, or if you have the cutting mat, um, to put it back there so you don't ruin the next page. Yeah, so these are little added um, posters that they uh, give you in this little book. So go ahead and stick this back. So this is The World of Dreams by Inko Kotoriyama. This is Disney Love by Inko Kotoriyama. It is also a half tutorial, half coloring book. So in here, like the other one, it tells you what you can use in this um, book. And then um, examples of how to color them and a little area for you to try. And different ways to colors. I mean, you don't have to fill it in, you can just Make little um, dots, stripes, and lighting shows you where the light's coming from, so where to color lighter, which is really great tips to follow. And then they have this one, um, like the one um, painter, I forgot what his name is, <laughs> can't think right now, but yeah, so, and this one is um, soft pastels, they can show here they're just scraping it off and then using a q-tip to um, smooth it around and then here's the coloring i believe i remember seeing um i forgot whose channel it was but she did um this page um yeah it was really good i really liked it so here's a stained glass um image right over here they have a lot in this one yeah this is the image yeah. Color with Claire. <laughs> there you go. It's Color with Claire. She did that one. I believe it was her. And then I think um, Coloring F also has this book. I think she did um, some colorings in here also. So, yeah. A lot of great Disney images. This is so cute. I'd love a house like this. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and put that back. So this is Disney Love by Inko Kotoriyama. <laughs> the next book is called True Love, um, A Romantic Coloring Adventure by Inko Kotoriyama. This I got at Amazon.com. Um, yeah, so I was ha so happy that um, they had an Amer American version of this book uh, it follows the cow named Lulu and um, I think the birds her friend and they go on this adventure going through uh, all the towns looking for her mr. heart and yeah it's very detailed it has this one has a lot of animals a lot of towns that she goes through and it's so nice that it's in English that <laughs> you can understand what's going on yeah a sloth yeah so this is true love by Inko Kotoriyama the next one I want to share with you um, is also by Inko Kotoriyama called happy birthday I did wait um, to see if amazon.com with have a US version of this book like they did with um, 
is it the true love of Lulu the cow but it never came so I went ahead and bought this at Amazon Japan and it's about these two chipmunks um, who go on an adventure to go to their friend's party I guess their friend lives far away and so they're just like yeah they had to travel a long way to get to their friend's um, party and you can see a lot of the pages are detailed but it, looked like a, it looks like it'll be a lot of fun to color in uh, so I think this is the friend that they're meeting I don't know what kind of monkey it is but yeah this is Happy Birthday by Inko Kotoriyama this is the last one um, of Inko Kotoriyama's uh, little series of these books. This one's called Ruby's Sweet Dream. Ruby is um, a princess frog and she travels the world with the owl. I guess she's, uh, he's guiding her. And I don't, I can't read Japanese, so I really don't know um, why she needs to travel the world, but. I really love the scenes and I think you can kind of see it's like a little maze to follow through as you color. Is it mask? Maybe it's uh, um, trying to get to the party. <laughs> Princess trying to get to the party. Yeah. But I believe you can find some of the characters like the chipmunks and the um, cow in here also. That's her family. Yeah, so this is Ruby's Sweet Dream by Inko Kotoriyama. The next book I want to share with you is called Colors Make You Happy. It is illustrated by Miki Takei, either Takei or Takai. Um, she has three in this series. And if you love lots of cutesy, pretty, whimsical, um, stuff uh you'd love this book <laughs> so and i do so in the beginning it shows you um different uh things you can use um here i think this is shavings that you can use or you can use pastel and then examples of the colorings how to color but yeah if you love cute animals this one has a lot and um, they go th this book goes through some seasons and some holidays. So cute rabbits. Yeah. And then in the back you also have um, oh, it's for Halloween. Um, oh, more cute stuff. <laughs> um, some princess and ballerina. This one, I don't know she's pointing at, but she has a squirrel on her, a mermaid, yeah, and a girl with her unicorn. So yeah, this is very cute, very pretty book. And this is called Colors Make You Happy. This is volume one by Miki Takai. Takei. The next book is Volume 2 of Colors Make You Happy by Miki Takei. I'll just say Miki Takei. <laughs> um, like in the other book, uh, it shows you little tips um, on how to color the images. Um, so you can use gel pen, you have pencils, and this one looks like a zig clean color. Yeah. And just examples of how you can color the images in this book. Um, the illustration you'll see is like princesses, girls from fairy tales, Asian fairy tales. There's like a little mermaid with all her stuff. Another mermaid. Then in, um, towards the back you have um, oh, more cats. <laughs> Horoscope. So yeah, we have, I don't know which one this one is, but here's uh, the ram, I think it's the bull, 
Taurus, Gemini. It's really pretty illustrations. So, yep, so this is volume two of Colors Make You Happy by Miki Take. And this is volume three of The Colors Make You Happy by Miki Take. I believe this is her last one. And yeah, so if you love cute and sweet and pretty, you love this one. It has a lot of illustrations of animals, um, magical creatures, foods. I believe oh, there's a dragon and cat. Cross. Keys. Oh, little baby bunnies. Yeah, it's just a little of everything. Love. <laughs> and then I believe at the end they have, um, this is a pretty, they have um, the Chinese horoscope. They have like how the mouse, the ox, the rabbit, and the tiger, and so on. So, this is Volume 3, Colors Make You Happy by Miki Take. The next book I want to share is called Color Me, and it is illustrated by Yosuke Nakamura. He is a popular illustrator from Japan. Um, he does illustrations of the uh, Asian Kung Fu generation. He also does um, CD jackets. All of the illustrations are on one side, so you can use um, markers or watercolors. Yeah, and I have to worry about the image in the back. Just make sure you have something in between to protect the next image. Yes. Yeah, and then in the back, you it gives you, um, these are extra ones, but they're light, um, lining for you it gives you tips in the back like what to use so you have copic markers here watercolors i don't know this is acrylic maybe and a rochetan you have faber castell um yeah and it shows you examples of uh how to color it like the original and in the back they also show the original um, paintings that he did for the images. So this is Color Me by Yosuke Nakamura. The next one I want to share with you is the Disney Kaleidoscope Coloring Book. Uh, these are mandala-like um, images with the Disney characters in the middle and I don't think they're perforated but it gives you a line to show you where to cut it if you want to frame it up. Um, the back does have a, a framed area where you can write. Maybe you can give this to someone. Yeah so and they're one-sided so you can always use markers in them watercolors you don't have to worry about anything in the back uh, coloring f has a video out of herself coloring in one of these i wonder if it's this one i can't remember but um in the beginning of the book they give you examples and an index of all the mandalas yeah, so this is Disney Kaleidoscope Coloring Book. The next book is Yuko Higuchi's Magical Coloring Museum. I did get the US version of this book and it does come with a flap or a cover. And the first few papers are um, kind of like rice paper so you can see right through it. I don't know if you can color on it. Um, scared to try because one side is smooth but the other side is rough and the way they printed the image um some like some of them are on the smooth side well this one is on the rough side so <laughs> yeah so anyways it's about a brother and sister who go through a trip uh who goes on a trip through a museum uh and they're changed 
they change to different um, animals like this one they change into cats um, what I like about this book I, know, I like it but uh, <laughs> the, the background is already colored so you'll you just have to color the the rest of the images yeah so they just walk through the museums they slowly change into different animals like here they they're slowly changing into mice here I don't know it's like skeletons and they slowly change into that here they're catfish but these are um, fun to color because you don't have to worry about the background you just color like the octopus and the catfish you're done yeah yeah so it's a cute book and it's like a story just following them as they go through the museum so this is Yuko Higuchi's Magical Coloring Museum okay sorry about the light changing it started getting darker so I turned on um, the light up above my room uh, this is the next book it's called around the world it is illustrated by Remo it has a lot of whimsical um, illustrations and then um, is the line art is very fine it has like a dark dark green lines it follows through um, travel yeah you travel around the world seeing the different places um, some are intricate so it can be deterring it is very nice I like that one here's Amsterdam like underwater scene birds and then in the back it gives you um, like a simple single-sided pages like this one it's like a wallpaper though and then you have postcards that you can color and send off little note tags and this looks like a box or envelope that you can color and this is something you can hang probably for Christmas and little tags that you can color too. Yeah, both both sides. So this is Around the World, illustrated by Remo. The next book is by Eri. Eri. Um, this is called Tracing Around the World. It's kind of like the um, the previous book um, where uh, you travel. travel uh, has images from different um, countries it's a little light that's why it says you have to trace it so let's see if I can know if it's I think that the light just um, makes it worse <laughs> but um, yeah so this is looks like Scotland you can see it. yeah Egypt Here's New Zealand. But in the beginning, it does show you um, what you can use. Um, it also gives you tips of what to do. Like you can um, trace it with pencil, trace it with like a, a probably a water-based pen, gel pens, um, felt pens. Yeah, but you have to be careful about the uh, mediums you use because they're it is double sided. And another cool thing about this book is that the cover. Let me go ahead and take this out. The cover is um, a poster that you can color. It's kind of hard to see, but. Um, okay, yeah, I cannot. <laughs> so here you can see the United States. <laughs> so, with the Statue of Liberty. And then you can go to the other side, which is Europe on this side. Yeah, so it's just a, a, a great addition um, that she adds to this book. So this is Tracing Around the World by Erie. 
The next book is by Maria Kawahara. Uh, it's the coloring book Kimono Bishin. I don't know if I said that right, so sorry if I said that incorrectly. But um, it's pretty much um, coloring uh, kimonos, uh, the different kinds of uh, what is it? designs, kimono designs. So you always see like flowers. Uh, intricate designs on their kimonos and I think the uh, one around their waist, the obi? 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 Yeah. And I love kimonos. I used to have a kimono when I was small. I don't know what my parents did with it though. <laughs> so here you have like different scraps of uh, different patterns that you'd find on kimonos. Yeah, so it's a really beautiful book. Um, Illustrations are beautiful. Yeah. So this is uh, the coloring book Kimono Bijin uh, by Maria Kawahara. The next book is um, My Neighbor Totoro. Uh, if you recognize this um, character, uh, the creator and illustrator is Hayao Miyazaki. He also did Princess Mononoke and uh, Spirited Away. Um, but I got this at Amazon.com. When I first saw it, I went ahead and bought it because, you know, it's hard to find um, good coloring books uh, with Totoro. And I was worried at first because I wasn't sure. <laughs> I didn't see a flip through. I just went and got it. But um, I like it. I mean, paper isn't that great but it's thicker than um, the Amazon paper but they have cute designs cute illustrations all with Totoro in it yeah so if you love Totoro you like it. and it has this weird page where it has all the numbers this isn't this isn't the only page there's some other ones too which I was like is this a kid's book I'm not sure because some of the images are intricate to me like this one but yeah this is a cute coloring book so this is my neighbor Totoro the next book um, is called Penguins in Wonderland Forest it is illustrated by Maki Yuma'ahi um, I did buy this at what is it um, Kinokuniya is the Japanese bookstore in Seattle. Um, I at that time I didn't really see any um, flip throughs because I was there, and yeah, I thought it was just so cute with all the the um, penguins. But then some of the images also reminded me of um, who is it? Uh, Johanna Basford? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot which one of these images. Um, but yeah, you just color it through and then find all the penguins. Yeah. And then it shows you where all the penguins are. And the back also comes with one-sided pages like this one. And then it reminds you of Johanna Bassard, right? But then you, uh, as you look in here, I think you're supposed to find the penguins I can't see it right now <laughs> so another one-sided here um, they also come with um, little postcards Oops. and message card and ornaments so this is penguins in Wonderland Forest by Maki Yuma'ahi Okay, the next book is a Sanrio coloring book called Smile. It is illustrated by Aiko Fukawa for Sanrio. Um, you might recognize her name. Uh, she also has her own coloring book called Four Seasons. Um, in this book, um, it comes with this little cute like paper, colored rice paper in the beginning. And then it's just like a, a lot of double spread pages. So this one has my melody. You'll have um, Hello Kitty. 
and let me see if I can find um, Patty and Jimmy, and also the little twin stars. Um, yeah, here. So I grew up uh, with uh, Sanrio. I had the notebooks, pencils, the pencil cases, erasers. I collected a lot of Sanrio stuff, the purses, the wallets. <laughs> and I don't know what happened to all of those. I think my mom uh, probably gave it away uh, to my relatives or something when she noticed it was just sitting there. But I guess she didn't know it was my collection. <laughs> so, oh no, it's okay. But um, this is my little... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, like memory, uh, nostalgic memory for uh, my childhood, um, collecting all the little products of the Sinrios. So yeah, um, this coloring book also has um, postcards in the back right here to color if you don't want to do all those big double spreads. Yeah, I think that was pretty much it. Yeah, so this really intricate book. So this is uh, Smile, a Sanrio coloring book, illustrated by Aiko Fukawa. Next book is called Fantasy Season. It is by Yukako Ode, O H D E. Um, in this book, you'll have illustrations starting from it says right here, January. So you go through all the seasons of uh, each month. You go through each month and the different seasons, different holidays. Um, yeah, and I just have to let you know, I did see someone selling a book like this. Um, you might find it for like s less than ten dollars. I forgot what it was, but um, I believe that is uh, someone copied the images and is selling it as their own. So um, that is a copied. Um, book um i mean if you want to uh, uh support the artist um i would recommend getting uh getting the real one <laughs> so not the one that's under ten dollars so uh yeah a lot of cute images in here and in the back um they also give you so you have the map right here and it gives you a little postcards and note cards yeah so this is called fantasy season illustrated by yukako odi or ode the next book is a quite popular book in the coloring community this one is called rhapsody in the forest it is um, illustrated by kanoko egusa and really beautiful illustrations um, you'll find um, the illustrations have realistic animals and then whimsical ones where you'd find them wearing clothes and I guess you that's what you call them whimsical right <laughs> so, um, yeah so a lot of beautiful colorings um, that you can find of um, from this book on Instagram or uh, people doing color alongs from this book on YouTube so I have the Japanese version. I don't have the Dutch version. I don't know um, if the Dutch version has this also an, in the back. It comes with um, postcards. And also little message cards and ornament. Yeah. So this is Rhapsody in the Forest by Kanoko Egusa. The next one is another popular one by the same author or illustrator. Her name is Kanoko Egusa and the book is called Menuet de Bonheur. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly so forgive me <laughs> if I butchered it but it's um same as the the first one. Um, you have illustrations of a lot of cute animals, some um, wearing clothes, some um, just in their natural, realistic way, laying around, eating. Yeah. A lot of cute scenes. So, this is the Japanese version. 
And I'm sure a lot of you have seen the flip throughs of this. Um, in the Japanese version, it does come with more postcards. Sorry. There. And also note cards and, and orna ornaments. Yeah. Okay, so that's Menuet de Bonheur by Konoko Egusa. The next book I'm sharing is called The Garden Coloring Book. It is by Minoko Kurihara. Um, this is the Japanese version. I did buy this Japanese version on Amazon.com. Um, they also have a US version and it, it is called Harmony of Nature, Unwind, Create Color. Um, I don't know um, what the differences are, but um, the reason why I got this one is because it was cheaper. <laughs> so it was cheaper than the US version for some reason. So um, yeah, that's why I got this one. So this one kind of reminds me of um, uh, the previous illustrator, Konoko Igusa, but it mixed with uh, Leila Dooley with her flowers. Yeah, it's kind of like put together and this is what you get if they married. <laughs> so yeah, lots of beautiful illustrations some are whimsical you have like I think one of them you can see um, cute cat pictures you'll see um, what is it? like a, a, I don't even I can't even think I think it was like a flying jelly jellyfish in the sky with plants but I don't know <laughs> so these are one-sided pages um, this is slightly thicker than um, the other ones. But I guess you can use a uh, watercolor on this, markers. Yeah. Here's another one sided page. And then um, towards the back, where is it? You have postcards. Then you also have these little, I don't know if they're ornaments or like message cards. Yeah. So this is the garden coloring book by Minoko Kurihara. The next one I want to share with you is called is the Disney Girls Coloring Book Special Edition. There are two more um, in this series. Um, but I only have this one. It has a lot of um, very intricate um, Alice in Wonderland. If you can see it. I think Alice in Wonderland is in the beginning part and then they're separated into sections. Um, so here you have a double spread of... Here's Sleeping Beauty. And then um, this one is... Uh, you find these uh, images in the next few pages. Here's Ariel and Eric, Prince Eric. Yeah. And then more. I love this illustration right here. You can just imagine um just doing this background and all the Yeah, all the images in the middle of the silhouette. It would look beautiful. Here. Yeah, so this is Disney Girls Coloring Books Special Edition. The next one is um, Alice in Wonderland, the coloring book Alice in Wonderland, and it is illustrated by Yumiko Tezuka. This is one of my favorite um, Alice in Wonderland books. Really love the illustration here. There's a lot of um, double spreads, but yeah, I just love it. the paper is very smooth. Nice, nice on my fingertips. This one is very intricate. Um, the lines are very fine, but still so beautiful. Um, this one's cute. This reminds me of uh, one of the colorings that, um, I think the coloring kid, uh, she was coloring something, not this one, this image, but it was a book that kind of reminds me. This one reminds me of the book that she was coloring in. Um, I'll show you my favorite page in here. It has two cats. This one's cute. Um, yeah, so many cute, like, little shapes, um, right here. This is my favorite page in here. 
with the two cats and it's like a patisserie oh pastry brothers sweet party but oh so detailed right but just look at that love the illustration in this book and this one too yeah yeah so this is alice in wonderland by yumiko tezuka oh forgot um in the back there's also uh message cards she's so cute yeah but that's it <laughs> okay the next few books are by Tomoko Toshiro. This is the US version um, called Fairy Tale Coloring Book. Um, I don't remember how many fairy tales are in this book, but you see all the details. Oh, it's so small. <laughs> so, but I love the illustrations. I just can't help but loving it. I'd probably, since the paper is a little thick. Um, not that thick, it's probably like uh, medium. It's not exactly cardstock, but I'd probably use um, watercolors in here. They do have like some pages where like you'll have this image here and then you have this, uh, it's like a wallpaper or not needed uh, illustrations. Even though they're pretty, but they have and the next page is this so i think they just did that or you know like whatever you do on here if you want to use markers you don't have to worry about the side um yeah because it doesn't have any characters on it so yeah so just use markers in here and uh, watercolors and you, you won't have to worry about the other side this is a lot of wallpaper here the story of the magic horse yeah some of them I don't really know the fairy tale of but this one I know this one the little mermaid so this is fairy tale coloring book by Tomoko Toshiro another one from Tomoko is um, princess and fairy coloring book which is also the same as um, fairy tales also um, uh, it has fairies. This is Thumbelina. The Midsummer Night's Dream. Like what she did with her other book, you do have like a little bit of a wallpaper, but if you like coloring that, um, you don't have to, uh, like how I was saying, you can use markers or whatever, but. You don't have to, I mean, if you like this page also, then I'll just use pencils or watercolors, also good to use. This is um, about the same kind of paper. So, yeah. Beautiful. So this is the Princess and Fairy coloring book by Tomoko Toshiro. Another one by Tomoko. This is called Fantasy Coloring Book. I did wait to see if the third book would come out um, on Amazon.com with the US version, but it never, it was never made. So, um, so this one comes with a, what is it, a cover, and it's a really beautiful um, cover to this. So like the other one, you have your, not fairy tale, but this one's stories. This one's the secret garden. Here you have Peter Pan. That. Isn't that gorgeous? I like looking through these books. <laughs> so I do that usually every month. I'll pick out a section, just look at every image. They're pretty much like art books to me. Um, especially when I I'm a slow colorist and I can't really get to them because I'm coloring something else. But just looking through all the illustrations. Oh, 
This is the Fantasy Coloring Book by Tomoko Tashiro. The last book I have by Tomoko Tashiro is the Fashion Coloring Book, and I did get this also at Amazon.com, and it comes with a cover. And this uh, follows um, fashion from, I think this is Simonetta Vespucci. So this is probably like the Italian uh, um, style of dressing, of dresses. You have a wallpaper again, the Elizabethan era. So it just keeps on going through, um, it follows through all the different uh, items you'd have with your dresses. This is Russia. Josephine. It's beautiful. This. The castle. Yeah, and then towards the end, you sort of see this uh, Sarah Bernhardt. Then you have Art Nouveau. Art Deco style. Yeah, so it's just fashion through the ages. <laughs> so it's the Fashion Coloring Book by Tomoko Tashiro. The next three books are um, coloring books I got from Daiso, which is a Japanese $1 store that you can find in some cities. Um, this one I got. Um, near Seattle um, by s yeah I'll just say Seattle not everyone will know the cities I'm going to <laughs> say so um, these are really good uh, four dollar books they're thick and thick lines and you can just get in here and color and it's not expensive um, if you mess up it's all right yeah so yeah what a interesting images this one's like all around the world okay. so this is and i didn't say the name did i this is cityscape and i'll go ahead and show you the next one so the next one is marine life by daiso yeah it's already shouldn't have pushed it too hard <laughs> I don't want it to fall apart already. Yeah, so cute images to just lay color. And these are pretty, pretty thick uh, paper too. So this is just all marine life. So cute. I like when they do this little designs on the dolphins. The lionfish, right? So this is Marine Life, where you can get it at Daiso. The last coloring book I have from Daiso is called Amazing Nature. Um, I just thought um, you might see some of these books on Amazon.com and they are very expensive well, compared to the $4 I paid it for. So I mean, if you have a Daiso, I would just go ahead and buy it there. If you know someone that lives near Daiso, I mean, you can always um, ask them if they can purchase it for you. Um, I just happen to pick these up whenever we drive through Seattle. I always beg my husband to stop by so I can look in there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Seattle is like one and a half hours away from us, even if we take a ferry to over there and you, know, you have to deal with the traffic on downtown so yeah I was just lucky I was able to find these three and they were like in separate occasions they weren't all at one time but yeah I really love these illustrations and the paper is pretty thick I mean you can use watercolor pens I think and try that I usually just try pencils so keep forgetting to try my other media I would probably try um, maybe ink tents and watercolor pencils in here too yeah okay so this is amazing nature from Daiso the next one is called fairy tales of the world by 
uh, Katogi Mari. I don't know if it's Katogi Mari or Mari Katogi. But anyways, um, there is a lot of um, double spreads in this. And some of the backgrounds are black, some are not. I've been wanting to do this page for a long time. But for some reason, I keep putting stuff on <laughs> other colorings on top um, before it. So, But this would probably be the page I want to color in here. Um, this comes with pretty thick um, paper. This is a little mermaid. Sleeping Beauty. Yeah, so you'll find a lot of um, uh, fairy tale illustrations in here. Some you might recognize, some you might not. But really love the the illustrations. Yeah. And they, oh yeah, they do. In the back they have several postcards that you can cut out. Okay, so that's uh, Fairy Tales of the World by Kotoki Mari. The next one comes from the same publisher as the Fairy Tales of the World, the previous book to this. Um, uh, so the paper is pretty thick. This is a uh, Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter, and um, comes with a little index. Um, you can see that there are a lot of uh, two-page spreads. That will be great to use um, your watercolor medium. These are two separate ones. So <laughs> the whole family. Yeah. And then in the back, they also give you several postcards. Yeah. But there's still a lot more. <laughs> so this is Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter. The next book is illustrated by Ikenaga Yasunori. Um, and it's called Beautiful Painting. I think it's his beautiful paintings. Um, they're all hand-drawn um, illustrations. So you'll find some that are blown up. You can tell that um, it's his, uh, the lines are as crisp, but you can see how realistic it would be if you color it in. But it seems more like an um, art book to me rather than, um, sorry, <sighs> yeah, art book to me rather than a coloring book. I mean, you can, but an just like uh, looking at his images. In the back of the book, he does have single sided um, images, and I would just color this one in the back. And the paper is different. Here's one of a cat. So cute. Yeah, and this book opens the other way. So, this is Ikenaga Yusonori's Beautiful Painting. The last book I want to share with you is called Transcendence Beautiful Coloring Book of Takumi. Takumi is the illustrator of this book. It's both a art book and a coloring book. So in the beginning, you'll have his... Sorry, let me go ahead and... Turn this away. Oops. See this way. There you go. <laughs> so his beautiful paintings of this. You'll have you'll find his uh, illustrations in here, so you can color it either your way or you can color it the way he colored it or he painted it. Ooh, really glaring. Sorry about that. Um, 
so, so a few more and then you'll see his Some of them are very intricate, but when you saw his um, his paintings and then you realize all the details that he put into it. Yeah. I've seen a lot of um, colorings of these two pages on Instagram. So these are, uh, you can draw inspiration from them too. This one kind of reminds me for some reason of, um, what is it? Uh, was there another one of uh, Hunger Games? You know, their little emblem. Oh, okay. I don't know if you can see the, the guts coming out. It looks like uh, pumpkin seeds. So I think they're in a pumpkin patch. I should see the, the uh, original painting. Yep. And then you have the index and then that's it. So this is the Transcendence Beautiful Coloring Book of the Kumi. So with this part of my coloring book collection wrapped up, I want to say thank you all for watching and I hope that you enjoyed the video. I'm going to continue with the rest of my collection the best I can and I hope you will all be there to watch my final one for my first giveaway. If there are any books you would like a flip through of, let me know in the comments. And before I leave, please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all at my next video. Take care and happy colorings. Bye-bye.